Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because I have been working on this video for quite a while, it seems, and I'm finally able to upload it for y'all because I have finished reviewing five brand new, mostly brand new, to me they're brand new, clean mascaras. Now you might wonder why I chose to do this video versus any other new mascara review video because I do feel like mascaras just come out all the time. There's always new ones, there's new brushes, there's new formulas, water resistant, non-water resistant. The reason I chose to do this one specifically is because I feel like it is not easy to find a good quote unquote clean mascara. Meaning that a lot of the things that I feel like make a great mascara are things and ingredients that cleaner companies that want to not use things that may be questionable um, as to whether or not they're harmful. It's what makes a good mascara, right? And these clean companies aren't going to use those ingredients. So I feel like it's harder to find a good clean mascara. So because so many have been launching lately, I wanted to do a cumulative review of all five of them. So I'm going to be talking about the new Fit Glow brush. It's not a new formula, but it is a new brush. The Ilia mascara, the Rare Beauty mascara, the Beauty Counter mascara, and the Jane Ardell mascara. So I have used these all five separate days. I'm going to keep this kind of short, cut to demos of all five, and then I'll be back to get my final thoughts. Okay guys, today we are gonna be talking about the brand new Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. Their Limitless Lash Mascara has been a favorite of mine for a very long time. This is actually the mini version, which I got as a gift with purchase, but they do sell this mini version as well. The full size is $28, and it only comes in one, so one color, which is black. So this is volumizing, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, without silicones, and it claims, claims to be a clean volumizing mascara that wraps each lash in weightless, buildable volume without flaking, smudging, or irritating even the most sensitive eyes. So this is the larger mascara wand. It's, a, it's an hourglass shape. I do have my Jane Iredell lash conditioner on this eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply and kind of talk through it. What I have found as far as application is that some lashes, it's harder for me to get to. I think because of this hourglass brush, the lashes that kind of fall in the middle where it dips down, I need to go back in and use the top part to kind of recoat because it doesn't coat it as well. Not necessarily, you know, a bash to the mascara itself because I have used other mascaras with wands like this and I have the same issue. It's just the shape of the wand. I do like the size of it though. I tend to like bigger wands because they're just faster and easier, but I do find that I always need to look down into a mirror when applying mascara so that it does not transfer onto my lid. I'm gonna go back in and go ahead and do a second coat so I can compare without mascara and with mascara for you. Okay, so obviously this is with the mascara and this is without. So you can see, I do find it to be kind of volumizing. We'll talk more about that in my final thoughts, but let me finish up the other eye, okay? Here are both lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next day and I will save all of my final thoughts for the end of the video. Okay guys, today we are gonna be talking about, it's a little bit different because it's not technically a new mascara per se, but it is a new wand for the same mascara formula. So I'm gonna be talking about the new Fit Glow Beauty Sky High Lift and Curl Brush. So if you don't know or haven't been watching my channel for a while, then you may not know that the original Fit Glow Beauty Vegan Good Lash Mascara has been one of my very favorites. So I'm gonna show you the original brush. See how it's a cone shape? It's like more of a natural hair and it's uh, pretty, you know, wide at the bottom. And then as you get up into the top, it's more narrow so that when you get into that inner corner, it's easier to reach without getting product everywhere. Love the formula. A little bit about the formula. It's a three-in-one vegan mascara. It amplifies lash volume and length while nourishing lashes with powerful botanical extracts and plant protein to promote lash health and growth. 
It's a mascara, serum, and conditioner, and one that enhances the look of lashes on a day-to-day -day basis, plus provides potent vitamins and antioxidants to help lashes go thicker, denser, and fuller. So the new Sky High Lift and Curl Brush is what we're gonna, gonna be testing today, and this is what that looks like. So you see on one side, you have like the original natural bristles, and then on the other side, you've got this kind of curl type plastic bristles. So that is the difference. Again, the formula is supposed to be the same. So let me prime one of my lashes. I have tried this without a primer as well. And now I'm gonna go in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the original natural brush side. It doesn't, I don't see any kind of like instructions. Now I didn't keep the, uh, the box, I probably should have on you know how to use this the best but i'm going to use that natural side like the original brush side first it is transferring onto my lid and then i'm going to turn it around to that kind of spikier side and run that through which i believe this is the part that helps like initiate the curl and then i'll go in for a second coat okay so here is the side obviously with the mascara that is two coats of the new wand same formula of the fit glow beauty vegan good lash i'm going to talk about like how i think it compares to the original brush when i talk about my final thoughts here in a sec but i just want you to see what this looks like so that you can have a close-up look in comparison to the other three mascaras i'm talking about and then i'll let you know my thoughts okay. This next mascara is from Rare Beauty, and this is the little mini one. I was actually sent this by Rare Beauty and Octoly to try out, so they sent a little info card with it. And this is called the Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. It says it's an all-in-one mascara that works for every lash type to lift, lengthen, curl, and volumize every lash from every angle. Weightless, easy to build formula. It has castor oil in it, which is known to help lashes um, be strengthened and conditioned and maybe even have some growth properties to it. Well, it's saying that it's in here to help lashes stay soft and never crunchy. It's long lasting, water clump and flake resistant. Okay, so this is the brush. I have already primed one of or one side of my lashes. This is the brush. It is a natural hair brush, and we're just gonna get to it. If you wanna see how this performs on lashes that aren't primed, you can check out my recent no makeup makeup look, which I also got on my eyelids. That doesn't happen with all mascaras, so that's to be noted. Um, it's an easy fix, but I used it in that video without any kind of primer. So you can see whether you think there's a difference, but for the sake of this video and how I use mascara on most days, I'm gonna use it with a primer. So that is one coat. I do find that they need to be a little bit separated, but we'll see after two coats if the brush kind of works its magic itself and separates them. So I'll put on one more coat on this eye it's not a super wet formula, but it's also not very dry either. I find that it's building on itself easy. And when it, I guess I should say easily, and when it's a super dry formula, I don't find that it's the easiest to build upon itself with multiple layers. So this is two coats. I am, I'm glad that I'm testing it this way because this might be one that I prefer without a primer because, spoiler alert, y'all, I'm using a spatula, a metal spatula. I can't find my old school barrette that I usually use. Let's not judge. This works. <laughs> I do know that when I didn't use a primer, I really liked how it turned out. So let me finish this other eye real quick. So that is two layers of the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. So let's go ahead and hop over and try another one real quick. Okay guys, today we are going to be going over the brand new 
Beauty Counter Mascara. Now, this is the Think Big, I think is what it's called, all-in-one mascara. It's an obsessively clean formula that gives ultimate lift, length, and volume. It's got tripeptide technology that helps lashes appear longer, fuller, and stronger, and a soft molded and flexible brush for precise application. It doesn't have any carbon black, mineral oil, cyclic silicones, or BHT. So let's go ahead and get started. I used to be a beauty counter consultant, and I can tell you from lots of experience that the mascara, the mascara <laughs> was the least liked makeup product in the line. So it was a long time coming to make one that is hopefully better. Now, because of my travel schedule and things I've got going on, this is the first time I'm wearing this, so I'm gonna have to give you an update in the description box on how it wore and how it removed, but I'm going to review it based on initial application, how it makes my lashes look. So this is the very different, almost bullet style component for the mascara. You open it. What appears to be the bottom is actually the top. So all, right off the bat, like I can't just set this down. I have to lay it down. It's small, okay? But in comparison to most of my other mascaras, I'm used to just setting it down on the bottom, but you can't do that with this design. So here's the brush. It's a little bit thinner than some of the brushes we have used. Um, but we shall see, hopefully it helps get into the inner corner. It does have a little bit more of a cone shape, which usually lends better to getting in that inner corner. So let me put a little bit of some lash primer on and let's try this out. As far as I know, this is only available in one color. Oh, I didn't mention this was sent to me by Beauty Counter and Octoly. I have gotten some on my lid, y'all. That I think that just may be user error. I mean, there are some mascaras that amazingly will not get on my lid, but I do feel like they're few and far between. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in for a second coat and then I'll do a close up. Okay, so this is two coats with the Think Big All-in-One Mascara. So it looks nice. I will say they do need a little bit of separating. Yes, I'm using a spatula. No, don't try this at home. <laughs> okay, so that's after separating a little bit. Upon very first, like, feel, it's a little heavy. In fact, out of all the ones that I'm talking about today for the video, because I'm going to be filming my final thoughts, it's the heaviest. Like, I can definitely feel it on my eyes. So let me finish up this eye, and then I'll do a final close-up. I do think this eye looks a little bit better than the other one, but my lashes on this eye typically do. What I will notice is that I went, or what I will say is that I went back over on this eye and did like a little bit of a third coat, and it is not easy to build upon itself once it has dried down. So keep that in mind. If you are somebody who likes to do two coats, you're gonna wanna do them back to back on one eye because I feel like just from that experience, if you let, you know, if you put one coat and then you come over here and put one coat and you go back over here, it's gonna be already dried down too much to where you're gonna be able to build it up successfully. Okay, let's do our next installment for the mascara. And this is the brand new like brand new Jane Ardell Beyond Lash Volumizing Mascara. Now it's in the box, but it's definitely not the first time I have used this. It comes in the nice white matte packaging that Jane is transitioning all of their fabulous products to over the course of next year. It's very luxe looking. This has weightless, buildable volume, bold, glossy color, no clumping or flaking. It has bamboo stem powder, which is a natural alternative to nylon fibers. And it's been shown to help add length and volume to lashes. It has basil root extract, which is an antioxidant that helps lashes feel fuller and look healthier. And it has rice brown, rice brown, rice bran wax, which is a vegetable wax um, that provides a strong, flexible coating. I'm reading, obviously. This doesn't have any carbon black, it has no parabens, it has no Teflon. 
So this is the wand. It is a nice hourglass wand. So let's go ahead and put on our first coat. I don't have any primer on. I realize that I have used primer for all the other ones. And I think the reason I chose to do no primer in this one is because the primer I've been using is from Jane Ardell, right? And you would think that it would be necessary because the existing Jane Ardell mascaras have a little bit of a drier formula because that's what keeps them clean. So a lot of the ingredients that the clean companies don't want to put in their mascaras are what helps them be a little bit more of a wet formula. And because some of their existing mascaras are a little bit drier, you really need that lash conditioner to help aid the application of the mascara. But this one, y'all, while I love the primer, I don't feel like you need it. And so that's why I wanted to come on here and not use the primer. I think you'll still be able to compare it to the other ones just fine. I just don't feel like you need it. So that is one layer. I'm gonna put one more on before we do a close up. Y'all, this is crazy good. So that is two layers of the Jane mascara and this is nothing. So let me finish up and do a, a close up of both lashes. All right, two layers of this brand new Jane Iredell volumizing mascara with no primer. I mean, I feel like it kind of speaks for itself. But now that we are done with all the mascaras, I'm going to flip right over and give you my final thoughts on all of them, tell you which ones are my favorite and why, and I'll be interested to see which one you think looks the best. Okay, I am going to be ranking these. Hopefully this will keep it short and sweet, but give you my thoughts on all of these mascaras. So coming in at number five is unfortunately the new brush for the Fit Glow Beauty Mascara. Now do not confuse this with the formula. The original Vegan Good Lash is one of my favorite clean mascaras. It's one of my favorite mascaras. It's great, which tells you that it really has a lot to do with not only the formula, but the brush. This new brush just didn't cut it for me. And I think you'll be able to see from the close-ups that my lashes just did not look as good as they did with the other formulas using this brush. Again, everything else in the formula is perfectly fine. It wears well, it doesn't flake on me, it doesn't smudge. I have no issues, it's just the brush. So this is gonna come in at number five for me. I think coming in at number four is gonna have to go to the beauty counter. And again, I said in my demo that obviously this is the first day that I'm wearing it. So I will update you either on the screen or down in the description box about how it wore. But upon first impression, the reason it comes in my number four spot is because it feels heavy on my eyes. It must be a very thick formula. So it's just kind of weighing my lashes down. I did have to separate my lashes more than normal. It's not a big, big deal. I mean, that's not part of why I chose it at number four. The main reason is that it just is not the most comfortable upon first wear. And it also, like I said in the demo, is very fast drying. So you have to work quick with this mascara. And typically, even though I did two coats on each eye to begin with for the demos, typically I'll do one eye, one eye, then go back for the second coat. That would not work for this. So that's what's putting it at number four. I do like the brush. I'm not a fan, while I like this and I think it's very cool and different and edgy, I'm just gonna be super picky and I'm not a fan of how I can't set this down because it doesn't have you know, an even, flat bottom. Again, that's picky and may sound critical, but that's what I'm doing. I'm critiquing these mascaras. So number four to beauty counter. I will say though, it's hands and above the last mascara. So I go, you know, good for that. My, my eyelashes look good. It's a lot better than their original. So good for beauty counter on that. This is where it gets a little tricky to me because I really, really like the next three. I would say number three would have to go to the Ilia, fullest volumizing mascara. While I really like how my lashes look with this, I think the other two make my lashes look a little bit fuller and more voluminous. But another critique I have for this is the brush. One of the other ones has kind of this hourglass brush as well, but this is so hourglass and it has such a large dip that as you saw in the demo, I do miss a few spots. So I do feel like I have to work a little bit harder to get this one to cover all the areas of my lashes. 
but it, I still love it. Like it's not a, oh, I don't like this at all. I really like this. The limit, I think it's called Limitless Lash. The original Ilia mascara is also another favorite of mine. I think Ilia kills it with clean mascara. Ilia really kills it with everything. I love their brand, but I don't dislike this, but those are the reasons that it came in my number three spot. Number two is going to go to Rare Beauty. I really like this and how it looks on my lashes. The brush is very large. It's not really hourglass. It's pretty much the same width, the whole length of the brush. So because it's large, I feel like I got the most smudging on my lid with this. But again, that's something that I can work around. That's not that big of a deal. It makes my lashes look so good. And I'm going to tell you, I like this better without a primer. And in my minimal makeup routine that I posted a few weeks ago, I wore this without a primer and you can see on camera, it just gives you really fluffy lashes, easy, fluffy lashes. So if you are more of like the natural makeup girl, you want your lashes to stand out, but you want, don't want them to be like, oh my goodness, I would highly recommend this. It's, it's just a really pretty mascara. The only thing is I do like it better without a primer and it does smudge quite a bit on the lid for me, but it's really easy to take off at night. The Ilia is as well. And it doesn't, sm none of these smudge and flake on me throughout the day. Well, I'll, I'll let you know on beauty counter because I haven't worn it a whole day yet, but I don't have an issue with that on the majority of my mascaras. But those are reasons why I love it and also reasons why it came in the number two spot. And then finally, number one goes to the brand new Jane Iredell mascara. This is the Beyond Lash Volumizing Mascara. And I'm going to tell you right now, I did not think this was going to be number one. I have all the other Jane mascaras. I like them. I don't love them. Again, they aren't the best sellers for Jane Iredell. It's just not easy to make a clean mascara that really wows. But this one really wows. It has that hourglass brush as well but it doesn't, it's like not as intense as the Ilia, so I don't have a problem with it coating all of my lashes. I think that you can see in the demo how good this makes my lashes, and it doesn't dissipate throughout the day. So I sometimes wear mascara, and it looks really good and full and just makes my lashes look great, and then halfway through the day, it's kind of like, meh, meh, you know, like it's just lost its goodness and <laughs> my lashes just don't look that great. This keeps its goodness all throughout the day. It does not smudge. It's easy to take off. I love this with a primer. I also love it without. And in fact, I've been using it without, which I think is a huge testament because again, as in the demo, Jane has made a, their other or made their primer because their other mascaras needed it. This one I don't feel like does but it still works obviously great on top of it. And if you want that extra conditioning that that primer gives, um, it's definitely not going to hurt. But I love it both ways. Very, very impressed with this. This one does not launch on e-commerce Jane's site until 11-8, so November 8th, but it launches at Partners on October 4th. So this will be going up after October 4th, so you should still be able to get it at local Partners. I will link it down below if I can find it somewhere for you to get it online, but it's, it's really good. And I'm very proud of what Jane has done with this mascara. All of these are good contenders for clean mascaras. I think these companies have come a long way. I think there are so many options now and we are all able to find a formula, a brush, a company that is going to work for our lashes. So hopefully this video was helpful for you and I would love to hear what you think the best looking mascara was uh, in my demos and what comes out on top for you and what comes out on top for you and if you are interested in getting any of these. So let me know down in the comment section below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane, and that most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.